I got asked a question um, about having a tail tidy with the um, the OEM turn signals. I think the person that asked um, is using an RNG tail tidy, and uh, I'm not sure if it has the same footprint as far as how wide this is, i.e. is the bracket thinner than this one is. Um, if it's not, you can see right here, I mean, how big the stock signal is if you mounted it on that bracket, which with this Vanguard fender eliminator, you can reutilize the OEM signals if you want. But I mean, as you can see, it it's too long. That's why I opted to go with the uh, the RNG Mini LEDs. I mean, there's, what a good three inches of clearance there with those. You don't even have to worry about it. Um, so if your bracket is similar to this, as far as how it mates up with the under um, the underbelly fairing, you're probably gonna need some aftermarket signals. I mean, this, this would, I don't even know if it would, if you can mount them with that on there, it might push this part of the bag in, but the problem is there's like a um, hard plastic liner inside here, so it's not soft. It doesn't give. Uh, so if I were you, I would go ahead and put the, uh, put aftermarket LEDs, something similar to this. It's maybe just a couple of inches long, anywhere from, I'd say two to four inches long would work out good. Um, while I'm rolling this, I just got home from a trip. I've been out of town, but I ordered some uh, short levers, and I got these on eBay. They're very inexpensive, and um, I gotta say, I, there's like really hardly any play in there. They work good. They have the adjusters. This green, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, it's not an exact match to the frame, but um, you know, from a distance, I don't think anybody's really gonna notice it. I know I had actually the expensive Pazzo levers on my um, Street Triple, and my forks were gold, and the ones I put on it, the adjuster was gold, but it wasn't an exact match. And uh, I learned to live with it no one really ever said anything about it <laughs> so honestly i just went with the green because they were kind of limited i think it was either green or red adjusters and a black lever so i thought i'd just take a chance on the green and see how close of a match it is it's it's not identical but it's it's no big deal i bought them more for the, the functionality more than anything i haven't put the uh i just put that on i haven't put the clutch side on yet but here here it is over here. I'll give you a closer look. Oh, sorry. So it seems to be pretty nice quality. I mean, time will tell. I've owned a couple of sets of Pazos and of course never had any, any issues with those. But um, I'm, I'm most curious about the anodizing. Seems to be pretty decent. These uh, corners are nice and rounded doesn't look like there I mean there's some machining marks on it but the Pazos did too so for the money I think these are like 20 something dollars I figured I'd give them a try and from what I see they, they look to be similar in quality everything works real smooth so uh, yeah if anybody's interested in putting some levers on theirs, I'll post a, um, a link to where I got them on eBay. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys don't mind these video follow-ups I do. I, rather than just answering a question on there, I tend to be kind of long-winded. So rather than typing something out, I might, I might miss something. So having the visual here may answer a question that I'm not able to verbally. I forget something so uh, sorry if you don't like that but it just takes a couple minutes to do a video and upload it to YouTube for me so that's what I opt to do sometimes 
All right, guys. Take it easy.